Hi YouTubers and fellow toy train lovers. Let me show you something I am sure 99% of you have never seen before. And this is a Helgi 1000 Streamliner. Just received it today. Got it out of the box. And found out it will not go around my 031 track. I have original hoagie track in the um, garage and I may have to change the track on the outside of this layout because I definitely want to run this drain. And the hoagie track is actually banked like racing track because these go really fast and of course there's no magnet traction like in Lionel. So you had bank track. So I'm going to move this camera back a little. Give you a better look at the side. And this is almost, it's a little over one foot long, this locomotive. And I'm not sure if you can read this. It says Hoagie Streamline. And then down here it says 1000. And you'll see the tabs from the tab and slots. So it's obviously tin plate. And you've got a nice smokestack, a bill, a bell, pardon me, the sand dome on front, on top. And beautiful tender. I believe you can read that that since I can see it through the camera. It's a hoagie streamline, and you will see a, they put, I get, I suppose that's a nozzle for loading the water. And then they actually painted their vestibules, which on my um, 900 are plain. Our uh, chrome. This thing really likes to go fast. And here's this really easy to read Ogie Steam Streamline. And we have one other car, Ogie Streamline, which is the observation. We'll get around to the back of this, and you'll see this hoagie sign, and our two little reflective faux taillights, and I've wanted one of these for about 13 years, and I never thought well, since I got my original Hoagie 900, I never thought they wouldn't run, <laughs> that this wouldn't run on my 031 track. I have uh, a Christmas layout with Mark's 034. Which it might barely go around. Let me lower this a bit so you can get a look at the side rods and the wheels. And this is the only hoagie 
uh, that they ever put a mechanical reverse on. And I have not found it yet. <laughs> I'm going to take the whole thing apart and clean the motor out and make sure it's lubed properly. I only received it a couple of hours ago. So, let's see if I can lower this, if you can see the signage on the... Yeah! See the hoagie streamline on there. That's a little better view of it. I use a monopod on this camera. So it's I have to adjust it to get it just right. But this, believe it or not, this weird looking train may be to you. To me it's a thing of beauty. It has been the train of my dreams and my ultimate end of my bucket list. I know uh, for most people it's the uh, Lionel that's uh, you know I can't remember the name of it because I've never been interested in it because I knew it wouldn't run on my track but it's scale and it was originally made pre-war and was turned out the uh, they hadn't s stored the tooling correctly and they had to rebuild it uh, post-war but it they claim that the rivets on it were the same as the New York Central but it only ran on T-Rail track the first one came out and of course this is in T-Rail track and T-Rail is just what it sounds like it's flat on the top and it had uh, I think three or four freight cars in a caboose but something that old is usually falling apart by now it's been used so much I don't think this has been used very much I am really blown away by the condition that it's in the uh, seller sent me several photographs and he did not do it justice so at any rate I'm sorry I can't run it for you because as soon as we get to that corner down there it's gonna derail this this front drive wheel barely derails it. so I'm thinking the marks I might be able to run the marks uh, 034 on my layout but I have 042 I had a very large layout and my older home much smaller home this is a much larger home but I decided to um, I wanted it inside I wanted so this is in a uh, 13 by 13 bedroom and this is a 11 by 4 foot layout so I should be able to fit 042 on there if I have to otherwise we'll use the marks track this is so Lionel O this is taller Then regular line L track. This is 027 right here. And I run a lot of marks, a lot of line L on that 027. But kind of like this old line L. Oh, this, a lot of this came with my very first uh, line L set, which was third hand. My father got it from a fellow who needed money in the Elks Club. 
I think he was a gambler, and he gave it to my brother, who was probably 13, and I was maybe four years old. And when my brother joined the Air Force, he gave it to me. So I got the track in the wonderful 2025 set, along with Transformer and cars and everything, but we're way off the subject. Anyway, you've seen something you probably haven't seen before. Like I said, this was top of the line for a hoagie. If you look on YouTube, there is a hoagie, complete hoagie set with the circus train and the Tom Thumb and the little freight steamer, the little passenger steamer. Uh, sadly, it was filmed so many years ago that the camera's rather poor quality, but you get a good idea what Hoagie had to offer. Uh, I believe they went into bankruptcy around 1939. So... Uh, pardon me. Yeah, 1939. It wasn't 29. That was the start of the Great Depression. So, uh, like I said, this is, I believe, one year it'll be 90 years old. And it looks awfully dang good for a 90-year-old train. I don't see any scratches on the paint other than a little bit from these vestibules from scraping on the cars but that's to be expected you'll see it on any train that uses these kind of vestibules so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, I will I promise you when I get the hoagie track out of the garage Gotta go move the car and dig the track up, find the right box, and see if it's larger than my 031. It may have been made, it came with my 900 set, which will run on 031, so it may not have the correct diameter. Otherwise, we're going to put O. Mark's track, 034, find out if this engine will go around the 034. I have the 034 uh, temporary layout in the garage. So all I have to do is hook up a transformer to it. Put the locomotive in the um, little... Uh, Little. <laughs> it's the biggest tender I've ever seen. Tender on it and see how she runs. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you've learned a little something. I certainly have. Uh, I would have bought this whether even if I had known it was going to run on my 031 track. I've wanted it for so long. And really think it's a cool looking train. Look at that Commodore Vanderbilt front end. Okay. Thanks for watching. And once again, this has been a big Blizzard production. Bye-bye.